this is a comment reply that I have on Reddit. So I'm going to scroll up and read this question. So this person goes, so I have a main channel and a second channel. The second channel is where I usually want to upload my animations and stuff. That just doesn't fit the main channel. However, my goal with the main channel is gaming mixed with animations. So some animations could hit the main channel. He goes on to say, now I made an animation recently that I uploaded to my second channel that is doing really well. And I'm thinking about maybe changing it a wee bit and re-uploading it to my main channel. Since the theme kind of also fits my main and I'm hoping to get more traffic on my main that way. It's the dancing animation though and my main channel is more gaming focused. So I wrote a comment here. You seem to have a good grasp of your channels, distinctive content types. Uh, if the popular animation on your second channel is somewhat related to the gaming theme of your main channel, I believe it could be worth experimenting with. It's also beneficial, however, to ensure that the re-uploaded content complements the existing content on your main channel. Uh, to ensure this, you could possibly incorporate a gaming aspect within the animation. For instance, the character could be dancing to a popular game theme song, thus it won't be a stark departure from your main channel's theme. This could potentially increase traffic and blend harmoniously with your gaming content. Okay, why do I read you this? Because I did not write this. This is all AI generated content and it's been automatically replied to this. I've never read this. This is the first time I'm looking at this and I've responded. And the good thing is this gets my name out here. So I'm marketing my West Frank YouTube channel. And if someone liked this comment, they could click into my profile and they'd see my social link, my YouTube channel right here. And if I click this, it goes to my YouTube channel. So I am getting free marketing with this Reddit comment. I don't know how many views this has, but you repeat this over and over and over again, you're gonna get some eyes on whatever product you are selling. So how did I set this up? Well, I set this up in Pabli, so let's take a look. Okay, this is my Pabli dashboard, and in order to make an auto Reddit uploader, you need two workflows. So I'm gonna walk through both of those workflows right now. Let's first walk through the auto post comment on Reddit workflow. So I'm gonna click into it, and this is a quick overview of the whole workflow. It's only three steps long. So the first is a trigger when there's a new Reddit post. In this subreddit, I chose new tubers because some of my content on my West Frank YouTube channel is about helping YouTube growth. So I think that's the perfect subreddit. I'll minimize this. Second step is we're gonna ask ChatGPT. First, I'm gonna go back and show you that if I hit save and send a test request, you get a response that is the most recent post in that subreddit. So this is the post, I'm gonna scroll down. This is the title of the post. I'll copy this so you can see it. Here it is, it's focusing on you in YouTube, mental health advice. And the post is, I'll copy all this, show you it here. Now I'm not gonna read all of this, but uh, it's a person basically giving some mental health awareness points in that subreddit. So the first API call grabs that post. Okay, now the second one, the second step is ask chat GPT. And we're gonna select the GPT-4 model because that is much better than GPT-3.5. And the prompt is, it's a task. You are the owner of the YouTube channel called West Frank. The channel has 4,000 subscribers and is an expert in AI, automation for businesses and YouTube growth. Respond to this post in an intelligent way. Don't use exclamation marks and each response should be very short, only one paragraph long and should sound natural. So the reason for this prompt is yours is gonna change based on what you're selling. But for me, I'm a YouTube channel that I'm promoting so I wanna tell it that. I also want the response to be short because I'm leaving a Reddit comment. I'm not creating a post where I'm trying to teach somebody. I want something quick and easy. I only want it to be one paragraph long because Reddit is markdown text. So if you have multiple paragraphs, you're gonna get like slash n slash n for new lines and it's gonna look like an AI bot. And I want it to sound natural because I want it to seem like it's a human speaking and not an AI. So the second part of this prompt is I am telling the AI, I'm telling GPT-4 what the post is called and the text in the post. So after all that, this is the type of response you'll receive. You'll get a chat completion and you'll get that post that I posted to that subreddit. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come in here and I'll show you what it wrote. Something nice, you know, your post genuinely resonates, particularly in the realm of mental health and content creation. As someone who operates a YouTube channel focusing in AI and automation for businesses. So look at this, it's acting on my behalf. This is absolutely wonderful. This is something that I would have written myself. 
Okay, so that's step two. I'm going to minimize this. Step three is we actually have to submit the comment. So the parent link full name is what we grabbed in step one. It's the new post in step one. And the comment that we're going to post is what we got in step two, the chat GPT. So this is our answer. And then when you submit that, what you're going to get is a link to your comment. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to grab this permalink, copy it, and I'm going to paste it in here like this hit enter. And this is my post that I did one day ago and it's already got an upvote. So someone did see this and that could have enticed them to click into my profile and look at my YouTube channel and possibly gain a new viewer and a new subscriber. If you were selling a product, it could have possibly given you a new sale. Okay. So this is all well and good, but there's an issue. If this is running around the clock, you are responding to every single new post that's created in this subreddit. And this subreddit has 322,000 content creators. So a lot of posts are happening here. And if you're working around the clock and you're responding right away to a new post, it's going to look like AI. So we need a way to kind of rate limit this workflow. And how you do that is I'm going to go back to the dashboard and here there's a second workflow called the Reddit post scheduler. And in Pabli, all of the Pabli steps are completely free. So they're not going to waste your, your tasks for the month, but this is a high level of the workflow. It's four steps. Oh, sorry. It's eight steps for my type of post, but you can make it what you want to do. So the first thing is every day and I chose 8 AM Eastern time. It's going to step two. It's going to trigger my Reddit post workflow and it's going to turn it on. And that is going to run for one hour and then it's going to, turn the workflow off. So from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. it's going to run. Then I'm going to delay for seven hours and then I'm going to turn the workflow on again and then it's going to run for one hour. So this is about 6 p.m. and then it's going to turn the workflow off for the day. So I have an eight step workflow that runs it twice per day for one hour. So going back to the dashboard, we're going to see the auto post comment on Reddit workflow actually has two workflows that are attached to it. As we saw, it's going to trigger when a new post comes into Reddit, it's going to ask chat GPT to respond to it, then it's going to post it. And then we have the Reddit post scheduler that every day at 8am, it runs it for an hour, then it waits seven hours, and then it runs it again for another hour. Okay, so I quickly hopped over to chat GPT to see how you could make money with this. And it gave us some good answers. So first affiliate marketing in your profile, like I showed before, you could definitely add a social link of a custom URL and that custom URL would be an affiliate marketing link to a product that you're selling. So that's a good way to, to use this auto Reddit poster. Sorry, let's say you are an affiliate marketer for a fitness product. You can post in our fitness and then you can link the custom URL to that product page. You could also promote your own products and services like I'm doing for my YouTube channel. I'm posting in our new tubers helping new YouTube channels and I'm hopefully giving them back to my YouTube channel. You could drive traffic to your website. So I'm seeing back on Reddit here, there's a Shopify link, there's Substack, there's a Patreon page. You could even send them to your link tree with all of your social links or just like your actual website, whatever it is. So there's many options. The opportunities here are limitless back in chat GPT. You could do some sponsored posts. If you have a ton of karma, you could start getting companies to contact you to make specific posts about their product. Uh, number five is not really what we're doing, but number six is if you have an online course, an ebook, any other digital product, uh, you could also promote it with this. So many options and it's all about getting free traffic back to whatever product or service you are offering. So uh, again, this is the auto post comment on Reddit bot that has been made in Pabli. Uh, it's completely automated and our goal on this channel is we're going to automate our entire lives. Okay, peace.